Guys, before we get into the episode, thank you so much to our sponsor, Zia, Zia Farms. Farms. Guys, make sure to go to zefhemp.com to support mm-hmm. our sponsor. If you like the best CBD, they have rattlesnake oil CBD that helped me get through my fight amazingly. It's just this beautiful oil. You roll it on, you put it on your back, you put it on your muscles. Honestly, I've been going to a, chiro- uh, going to like a chiropractor. I get home put that on it it, it it hits different but also mm. the best thing with zia is they're always working forward and for the future generation i can't say what's coming up but he hits me up every week he shows me what's in the chamber this is some crazy shit guys uh-huh. so guys if you like delta eight and you like cbd mm-hmm. please go to go to zia farms extraordinary and use promo code doped hyphen up and get ready ready like, how much tell them 50 percent off guys that is 50 percent off d-o-p-e-d hyphen u-p guys mm. z-e-f that's one more time z-e-f h-e-m-p last time you got 50 off on anything guys support our sponsors let's get back into the show tonight we party my friends sip on mezcal i like tequila damn this shit tasty can you not i made about a million off a of pibini I feel like my life is a movie, then it's too easy Can't catch me, I'm jumping the borders, hit the embassy, it's bag or die Guys, welcome to Doped Up and Dying, the, the Sunday, Sunday Morning, morning smoke, smoke Show. It officially happened. It took only a year and a half, but we were officially in Studio B. We got bumped! <laughs> we got bumped! We got bumped. <laughs> we got bumped. <laughs> Yes, uh, sir. No, but speaking of bumps, uh, it was a great weekend. And um, <laughs> what? I was like, what? Let's go. Let's go. My man, said, hot, my man said, my man said, speaking of bumps, I just came back from Florida. You're, you're on a wave, bro. Keep going. I keep came going. back from Boca. <laughs> said, speaking of bumps, so, a white boy wave. Yo, <laughs> spring break. Hey, no, yo, that, <laughs> hey, yo, that water, that sea, that ain't salt. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than New York water, or it's the same water. Hey, man, I don't bro, know. God gives you a Jewish nose. You better use it. Um, Ooh, so <laughs> my man said cocaine. <laughs> no, nah, I never said that. Drug. I said just, you know, good old Judy. Why are noses like this? To sniff out anti-Semitism. <laughs> <laughs> is this cocaine anti-Semitic? <laughs> <laughs> it is not. No. I believe it is not. <laughs> that's Who's funny, that? bro. Me? Oh. That's funny. Um, that you genuinely made me laugh. I said, Hashem I said, does not like it. You said you believe in Islam. Hashem is also a type of cocaine. Did you know that? No, it's not. Yeah, you don't ever use you my God's Hashem. name in vain. <laughs> Who's Hashem? That Hashem. It's God, God, it's a God is a, God it's a it's Hebrew. Like, it's, uh, it's God in Hebrew. That's Hebrew in God. I thought it was Yeshua. That's Hebrew in God. Yeshua? I thought it was nah, Yeshua. That's, that's, okay. that, that's that fake black Judaism. <laughs> So we just recorded. <laughs> we just recorded a podcast with uh, Mike Figs. Uh, we just did Young Guns. Woo, uh, good no, ro- no, no, Robbie. Which I, I was honestly excited for some Robbie, but uh, we we just recorded that. That was a lot of fun, and um, it's a funny episode. I always yeah. do. Our fam episodes are so funny. Fig was I awesome to have on. I, I don't know how to explain to people. You watch us. On, watch the three of us on any other podcast. You just see three guys like, I bro, relax. Don't don't over talk. Don't be don't don't go too much. This is not our the show. The second <laughs> this is not our show. Relax. And then the second our show happens, we're like, woo! Like, it's like it's turned. I almost on. just said he was it's a great guest. On. I almost, <laughs> I almost <laughs> just said. By that. the way, during the show of Young Guns, I was like, because uh, after his Will Smith, I was like, this is Don't Dump and Die, the Sunday, Sunday morning was... spoke show. Tune in at eleven. That's what yeah, I'm kind of saving. It's kind of like dope. Yeah. Like, listen, when you bring the three of us, the boys on the dope, dope, dope shit just happens. I'm I'm a little short on the. You look crazy. In bro, front you know of me, I can't look see your like, legs. Bro? You look crazy. You bro. look like a dude in a Starless cult because you're you have a big head but a small body. That's right. That's, that's what it looks like. That's cult like. That's uh, cult like. Step aesthetics. one. Stop listening to Kanye. Step one. <laughs> nah, bro. You gotta listen. Step to Step two. Yeah. Buy Yeezys. They go up in price. That's true. <laughs> Listen, don't, you don't have to listen to him, but you can you know, support yourself. So funny, bro. Um, the values in him. He's just like, stop wearing Yeezys. No, but I'll sell them because the price yeah, keeps going. Yeah, up. yeah, yeah. Relax. You got to make money now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, it was, a, it was a great weekend. I just uh, I came. I went to Florida. I went to, um, from Florida. Dude, you ever just do something so stupid? Uh, yes. I We changed my, so we were supposed to be in um, New York Friday to get back on a bus and then take a bus to Philly. To be there for Jay's weekend, mm-hmm. right at a Helium Comedy Club. Shout out Helium, by the way. That I, there's there's very few comedy clubs that I'm like, oh y'all do it different. Shout out Helium Comedy Club. Shout out fucking Hank, the staff, Rachel, fucking. Uh, it's, I swear, what it did is, you do uh, was different. It, they just do shit different, bro. I love that fucking. Well, staff. Different, I love bro. Helium, uh, bro. They just. Let me ask you a question. Do love, they have any? When they, you go, they, they, they staff just karioke the, the shows, bro. Let me ask you a question. 
When you when you do helium, do they do shit like, hey, by the way, can you give us, um, can you bring six people <laughs> from a from a out of seven? We don't. I don't even talk about bringers anymore, bro. Uh, I don't, but like, oh, well, when you do helium, though, when you do helium, yeah, bro, when you do helium, people. they invite me back. Well, they say come back. That's beautiful. But um, oh, they do that too at bringer shows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they do, don't they? The first oh. time you did a bringer, yo, come back. Hey, come yo, back. you brought eight people. Yo, eight come back. Hey, I remember, I them. Bring I remember them. the my bad. I remember the first time someone telling me to come back. I thought I brought people. Did so did good. good. He was just gonna put me up. By the way, this person is Evan Weiss. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, way, but yeah. I'll never forget. I think I said on the podcast before. I did two bringers in one night. And the one dude that I didn't decide to bring people to, I was like, I swear on my life, bro. I went on a Facebook group, got this one Facebook group from this like YouTube show, like these fans, bro, good people. Fourteen people came to this dude's show. That's twenty dollars. That's twenty five dollars a head plus two drinks. Y'all can do the math at home because I'm not how good much, at that. How much did you get paid? I think I paid nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up. No, 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 no. I'm, I, I'm not dissing you. He's not. I know. I know you're not. I'm, I'm saying. Not you. I know what you're doing. So I just, I just want to know bro, how much you got paid, Dylan. Dick. Dick. Wow. Five minutes. How, let, let's say fourteen twenty five a piece. Can we do some math on that? Fourteen to uh, almost three hundred dollars. Almost three hundred dollars yeah, yeah, yeah. plus two drink minimum at that club. Like, what is that? Oh, I'll probably I, was easily. A I made probably a thousand dollars probably that, that night. night. And bro, the next week, so I go, oh, I'm good for next week. <laughs> I go up on the the, the eight p.m. bringer show, bring a couple people, and his is the ten p.m. Bro, I sat there for the 10 p.m. He goes, you just did the 8 p.m.? And he's a weird, autistic, weirdo, old dude. Let's and not giving people nah, that nah, excuse. Nah, Let's nah. stop giving people that excuse. Nah, he's he's, he's weird, a con bro. artist. So he is a con <laughs> artist. And, dude, he just goes, and this is where me and Kevin first really became friends, when he just goes, but you did her show. How are your people going to come to my show? I remember this guy. And I, and then literally he goes, I go, I didn't, I literally didn't bring, like, I brought like two people to the show. Also, I brought 14 people. I'm showing him the picture. I go, oh, what are you fucking talking about? And he looks at Kevin and goes, did you you brought people for her show, right? And he goes, Nah. And he goes, You didn't bring people? No, nah, I don't need to. And he goes, Ask me why. Why? Because I'm for living. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> and bro, I, 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 listen, it was a Charlie Boschia or some Boschia. Oh, we, we say names? With the I black kid? Who gives a fuck? Bro. Um, nah, he was a weirdo, bro. He's a joke. He breaker. was like, he's like, I, I'm Come bisexual. On, I buy sex. Also, it's <laughs> it's hilarious that you had two bringer shows in one night. Man was working. I was <laughs> hustling, Man bro. was working. Yo, know, know who I ran into last <laughs> I night? I just said you were pro. Know who I ran into last night? The legend, Dayton. <laughs> he doesn't know Da- yes, he does it from us. David I don't Levine. Know what does guy look like? David, David Levine, Levine. If you don't know him, is a comic that me. Uh, Ashley is the first person I really met in New York City. Uh, we went. We met on the Upper East Side, and then me him. And I met DC. Me him and DC kind of started chilling. But um, he went off to Syracuse to go to college and do like TV stuff. He did like interns for Conan. And me and DC were like, "Yo, bro, stay." And he went to California because of that. We were like, "Yo, stay in New York. Stay in New York. Come be part of the crew." He made the right decision. He went to go to Conan. <laughs> And came back, and now he does comedy underground, overground, I believe it's called, underground, overground. And he just did a show at Cat's Deli, the first comedy show ever at Cat's Deli. But I saw him at uh, the stand. The last time he's ever talked to me was him texting me, asking me, why do all the big comics follow me? And if I can ask uh, him if Big J could come do the show. And the, the text that I sent before that was me asking him to do the show. So, bro, speaking of comedy shit, I had a, we just had a good talk of... So hey, what? why you fake, bro? Yeah, <laughs> literally what that conversation I, no, was. Bro, we oh, like, you know, Dylan, because he told me this story, and I'm looking at him like, damn, I know he made that nigga sweat. <laughs> <laughs> he was so red. I know he, he made that so motherfucker red. sweat. Was, <laughs> dude, I was, and it's so funny. Oh yeah, I, bro, I can't, hey man, how you been doing? <laughs> and it's so funny because he goes, by the way, I was out a game with Big J yeah, last yeah, Sunday. Yeah. Oh, he's right there by the bar. You want me to introduce you? I can, you? I can, I can introduce, introduce you. you. I gotta go though. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. yeah. Dude, yeah. No. You can awkwardly stand next to him. No, now. I, I called him out for the text, and then he goes, "Yo, let me get your number. Let me see if I still have your number." I go, "Don't do that." I go, don't fucking <laughs> do that. He goes, he goes, "Let me see if I still have your number." I go, D- "David, you haven't gone through three phones. You're not yeah. Kanye West. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. what are you?" And he looks up my number. There it is, Dunk Comedian. And I watch him. We're still talking, and then he finally clicks on it to go text me. And then it's his text for when he asked to come, like, to get Big J. Yeah. And he goes, oh, there it is. Oh, shit, there it is. Yep. And then it gets so fucking bright red. And he goes, what are you doing later this week? Uh, let's get some lunch. And, dude, I'm going to be real with you. If, he, if I met him, like, if I not met him, if I ran into him a week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and he was like, yo, let's get lunch. I'd be like, yo, bro, I am wide open. Mm-hmm. I am free as a bee. Bro, I just got a book for a bunch of shit. <laughs> so it was 
God, bro, it was God. God did. Universe lining up. Universe yeah, 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 lining yeah. up where David so goes, what you doing this later this week? I go, California. He goes, what are you doing later next week? I go, San Jose, back to California. He goes, what are you doing the week after that? I go, stress factor. He goes, oh, so you're busy. I go, yeah, David, maybe you'll book me sometime. And, dude, it was just, it was just, bro, it, uh, was, uh, it was therapeutic. Of course. It was therapeutic. Only better than that is and that person I, asking you to do the show and you telling them your rate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody used to walk Yo, can you do my show? Yeah, my rate yeah, is like 50. <laughs> it's 150 for you the set. Also, middle. still pretty low rate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, for, for 10 minutes, that's pretty, pretty affordable. Good. No, for 10 minutes, that's good. For um, not past comic, that's good. But no, no, that is. No, no, it is. But uh, no, it's just bro. And then David, bro, he hits me with this fucking line. He goes, I say, I, I say all this, all the, all the. All the dates, and he goes, Oh, so you like a real comic. Hey, Dave, right. just to let you know, son, I smacked the shit out you <laughs> with my comedy shit, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, I listen, I love him, and that's where I, I hope people understand. You don't that's love him. I like him. I don't why you, why, why you saying, why, 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 why you say you him? love him? You don't love him. I, nah, I. I, now I don't believe when I you love, say, Kev, I love you. I'm, I'm not going to believe you. You love a nigga that don't I even don't like you. I don't believe in it. No, nah, I don't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe hey, in yo, it. Yo, that's nothing more disrespectful on earth. A motherfucker that There's I was, that nothing was more disrespectful on earth than when somebody like playing that. ball with you and they go, I don't believe in it. And you shoot <laughs> and you prick. And that's David Levine's life. <laughs> oh shit, I don't even know this man. I'm just taking shots. No, I'm no, hot he's... right now. <laughs> oh shit, I gotta do a podcast David before the podcast, bro. <laughs> oh shit. David Levine. Start recording too. Huh? I told you we gotta start recording too. We gotta start recording too. I know. I'm telling. I bet we can do this every week. We can come in here and just set this up. He's like, oh my person. god. He just, it, you know, someone that just like <laughs> instead of doing that, David, why don't you just tap in with someone for real? You know what I mean? That's he they don't have that. No, no, bro. no. no. He has a great team. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta stop hating for one second. No, I'm not. Hating I talk on shit. Hating. I talk shit, but like he has his own little team. I he said he's a likable he, kid. He's he, good. Yeah, he he's hard. a good. He's he good. He's shit. good people. I, listen, I love David. And my whole thing is, why did you have to get weird when you start doing the YouTube show and people were hitting you up and all that? Type that's of what shit? happens. It's like, bro, if the show, the show's now, not even that big yet. Can, you, I, can I be real with you? What? And now this is why I sympathize with the man. That's the industry. Been, I've been sympathizing. This is why I sympathize <laughs> with him. because when just we have Dope Dope Comedy Club, and the amount of people that hit me up like if I'm booking it. It's crazy. I do tell I mean, them that you're on the Last time I ran into him, we did a pot at you guys' house, and I was walking to the train, and I ran into David. Yeah. And he brings up, you know, the club and all this shit we've been doing and all that stuff. No, it's wild. It's no, like, he didn't say to me that I saw DC the other day. Like, bro, I, I forgot. I forgot to call you. But I was just going to, in my head, I'm just like. I, was trying, I thought I was going to get you hot. <laughs> like, oh, thing, shit. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. My whole thing is like, it's simple. It's like, if you fuck with it, bro, then just show up. You could have showed up to Dope Dope any day and been nah, like, yo, what? bro, that shit deep. <laughs> yo, listen, unless you live in Brooklyn, hey, hey, I don't hey, blame hey, you for not showing hey, up. Hey, hey, hey bro, show, kid, up if, show up if y'all can. I'm pretty sure this kid comes from more money than Dylan, bro, okay? And that's I've, saying something. And that's, that is saying something. I'm <laughs> no, talking upper, not, upper East Side kid. I'm you not, know what ooh. I mean? Like, yeah, he, so he probably got more money. He can make it to Green Park. You know what I mean? Side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say this. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've been dealing with a lot of rich kids recently. And I've been calling Kevin a lot. <laughs> um, you shouldn't have put that out there. But okay, well, I mean, you gotta own it. Don't hide it. But you shouldn't put it out there like that. You by know? the way, by the way, that's what it no one understands. You like you're not that bro. rich. I'm, not, I'm, I'm really not that rich. I'm not a rich kid at all. <laughs> that's what rich people say, though, right? <laughs> it is. No, but is. no, but I, last time somebody told me try that, try to obfuscate. <laughs> one, one time I was with this guy. I'm just Hold like on. a regular person. I'm just like yo. I was. I eat craft cheese. I was with this dude. <laughs> you know, like, when I moved to New York, I kept buying nonstop Kid Super. I didn't have a job yet. I don't know how I did that, but <laughs> I <laughs> saved a lot of money. I, that's bullshit. But I was in Pennsylvania yeah, I and I was really. riding with my boy, and he goes, yo, he's, "We pull it up like that. We pull it up." Why is it that no one can be rich and hardworking? Yo, that's the, fine. But You're, poor people no, no, no. don't know how to. I don't look. believe that. I don't believe bro, that. Dylan, you know what? Dylan, when you Dylan, broke, Dylan, you can never believe Dylan, that a rich person worked hard. I love that you saying this, and also when you behind the scenes, you're like, by the way, I was just a security guard watching movies and shit. Like that don't mean you're make working it, hard. But no, no, no. But that's making that's not working hard. No, he does for but no, no, for no. a kid who comes to my, he does work hard. Bro. No, no, no. no. Oh. I'm not saying he doesn't work hard. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I, I, I'm not saying this to the camera. People get mad about the whole rich kid thing. Yeah. Imagine you know, work by a rich kid. That really hurts. And by the way, no matter what security job you have, bro, I That's used to it. work. It's not yeah. that much work. It's, not, it's, <laughs> it's, it's exhausting I, to do overnight I never, shifts. I never have ever worked a 70-hour work week. And when I, but I have when I was working for course, you the security to company. Overtime. Yeah. Your I mean, pops is good that time and a half. Yeah, yeah, as, yeah, 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 as you become more dope in life as a person, just coming from a pro porch perspective, 
right? A, a broke perspective, okay? Right? Is once you become more dope in life, you do work less hours. People don't. People that, yeah, just want you around. They don't want you. They don't shape, want like, you know working I mean? hard. They want you working making, smart. They want you working smart, smart and yeah. they want you to inspire other people to you work, don't work hard. Hard all your life to work hard when and, you, in yeah, any and life. I never you know talk about it much, but like that's the funny thing about. I never like to be like, oh, your yeah, bro was poor too. But like, my no. parents got divorced. My dad was the one working. I chose my mom. So, bro, there was yeah. legit times where my mom tells me, she goes, <laughs> like, I sold all the jewelry to keep us fed. I chose my mom. I was I wake up sometimes like, I fucked up. Yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, How yo. many times did you wake up, bro? You got to talk about that. Bro, I, was, yeah, like, I chose love. It. I'll tell you this much. You love choose don't money. pay the bills. Choose money. That's why I, love does old. not pay the You're bills. Like, oh, That's why I always, I always agree with these thought bitches. All right? But I'm talking, imagine being 15 years old thinking to yourself, I don't think love is that important, oh, bro. <laughs> like, you're getting older, you want chicks, you're like, this I need is, to go live with my dad, bro. Yo, like, yo that is a good... <laughs> that's the thing, that's too. A, yo. And it's also weird to be, because, like, I'm, I'm 29, right? My mom just opened her first business, been working hard all her See, entire man, congrats. life. congrats. You know what I mean? Thank you. And I was going to say, it's weird, because you were By probably... By the way, DC asked for a pedicure, she made him pay. <laughs> she, you know what? That, that's fine. That's fine. It's my mom. She deserves it. But I was gonna say is <laughs> what I was gonna say is. Did your mother? Really I, make you were money? alive when your dad started making a lot of money, right? Um, I was young, so like my. Were, but that's what I'm yeah. saying. What's, what's no, so you, you know my mom. My sister said to me the other day, "I almost nah, made me fucking don't. cry." Bro, I almost fucking broke down the phone. I was having a normal You're funny? conversation. What did she say? <laughs> <laughs> I remember interactions with your sister. Most of them were you screaming at her. So I'm just trying to. What did she say to make this guy cry, bro? Dylan, I watched your clip. You were really funny. <laughs> but you should still quit. <laughs> you got one for 55. Um, it's really nice when your nah, family bro, members like you're because, funny. Because uh, I'm the youngest. My brother I, told me that the other day. I almost cried. What? <laughs> what? But your you family funny? member my, tells you my, you're funny, my bro. My little brother. Because my little brother's the funniest person on, on the yeah. planet. He said you're funny. And he was like, "Yo, Kev, I saw something that you were in." You funny. They, 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 but it's difficult because they see it in a no, stand-up funny. perspective. Like, oh, he could do no, this No, it's shit. funny. The only thing I can remember of that is Natalie, our producer. She came and saw me opening for... No, uh, <laughs> they don't see me perform, bro. But I, I performed in West... Can I say something? They got to see you perform you now. You performed in Florida, didn't you? You didn't tell me I come? performed in West Palm... I never talked about some podcast. You didn't I pop performed out? in West Palm Beach, Florida. I did five shows when? for Big J Oberson. Coming back... Coming back from Mexico, Did come? bro. I live. I took my mom's car to the venue. Car that you gave her. Yes, and then <laughs> so my mom's car. <laughs> She's getting driven to the club if she comes. Living, she lives next to my aunt, mm -hmm. who also did not come. Mm -hmm. Bro, the show my my mom was supposed to come. She goes. She texts me. She goes. I'm having like stomach problems. I'm just like tired. Um, Damn. next time I go. Is oh, what there's it is. four more times. But I don't think you understand. I didn't go to my graduation because I didn't want the, d the drama with my family. Oh, I didn't want to walk. Drama? I ne That's bro, you don't understand my 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 weird like my uh. So I have abandonment issues. So yeah. my abandonment issues always come up with that shit because my parents never always let me down. My my dad would be like, "Yo, I'm coming over to pick you up." I'm outside waiting for hours. I'd be at bro. I lived my life in aftercare. Oh, yeah. Like my life was That's waiting crazy. for it's someone. Crazy. You keep that saying you keep saying aftercare. You said uh, young guns. And you said it now. What is aftercare? Oh, bro, y'all didn't have aftercare. No, no, no. In I'll, Florida, if if your parents don't pick you up yeah, for yeah. school, after school program. Right? After school. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say your dad was, was your dad. They they have to remember to pick me up. Your bro. dad did an amazing <laughs> job at channeling um at, at channeling at like raising you as a fatherless child. <laughs> your dad did a good job at raising you as a fatherless child. Bro, it's and that's so what I'm trying crazy. to say. I'm like they're like I swear on my life, God strike me dead, bro. I'll, we can Google it. And I'll show you the house now. My dad, yeah. when he finally got money, yeah. went, I'm going to go build a mansion. Mm -hmm. And then a, f a year called 2008 yeah. happened. That's how you know your family And money. my yeah. parents went, oh, yeah, we're fighting. We're done. My dad left, went and married some other blonde, went and got with another blonde chick. We had three kids. Fine, mm -hmm. go be happy. And honestly, they're perfect for each other. Mm -hmm. uh, there's times where I see them together, I go, I don't think we were supposed to exist. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think you we were supposed to exist. You would have been this bitch for Yeah, I, yeah. I don't exist. Well, oh, you, you exist. guys are together because you guys are both. Uh, uh, but, uh, so, yeah, yeah. so, and bro, I, I swear my life, dude, I, was, I pitched my mom. Mom, my dad took away the money, and now it's my mom crying all the time in her room, selling her jewelry to you know feed us, me eating fried ketchup pasta. Yo, Dylan, can I ask you a question? Wait, 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 bro. bro. In a mansion, no furniture. Yeah, yeah. Are you no so furniture. Mad telling me that the first bro, time. And I try to make jokes about this, bro. Do you understand how it is to you weren't to be a kid like seven, ten, eleven, yes. thirteen, and be like. I don't know if we're rich or not because we got a big ass house, nothing in it. Do you understand what it's like when your friends come over bro. and you start? They start like feeling like the stunt of like, yo, dude, no way! I and just, then open the door, they go, what? What? I, you, you just, just like being just, an NBA rookie 
and spending Bro, most of your check on this mansion and realizing, just, like, I can't finish this shit. Man. You just told shit. us what the theme and the hook of your special is going to be. If you I don't hope. figure out how to communicate that, you're, you're fucked. Cause no, I want to, bro, a, because I'm like... I remember you telling me that the I'm, first time I'm I heard it. I'm rich. And I was like, that's funny. But, you know, and I, I could tell, like... You, hey, you know what you are? You... you, you, you your hood pop, nigga rich. You, <laughs> your pops had... Hood nigga rich. Is the your, pop, special? your pops had money, uh, you, you, but the pussy, same... You won't. I won't. <laughs> but you can talk <laughs> about won't. that dichotomy of, like, my pops had money, but this shit was so ghetto growing well, up. My pops had money, but he was so Jewish, he still didn't share it with his own kids. That's... and and Like, you know what I'm saying? There's because there's there's oh, he, irony showed, he there. shared it with the you know kids funny? he liked more. You know what's funny? The ones he didn't. Birth. You know how I got money for my dad? dad got tight you know how I got money yeah. for my dad? <laughs> you know how I would get money for my dad and even my brother by getting pussy. So the only way I could I like ever your dad. The more you talk about him, like, <laughs> yeah, I I like, like this, this guy dad. knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's misogynistic. <laughs> <laughs> he's traditional. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> know, the, when the deal the first time I met Dylan's dad, we were walking outside in Soho. And he pointed at a chick that was hot and told me to look. I was like, I like this guy. Bro, he does, I was bro, very, bro, anybody I, born? I never saw my dad <laughs> before 50, 65 or, or, or before 75. They're like that. I never seen my really? dad hound for a woman until one day we were in New York. And this is the second time we were in Wait, New York. What? Um, when I was young, I visited New York twice when I was a kid. Once in 2006, once in 2010. And um, once the 2006 was with my mom, my family, and then 2010 was with, um, with my man. dad. With my no, well, my dad was there too. My dad and his new family, right? I said with the man, I met your dad. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> he said he my was, dad was there too, though. No, no, he was at both. He's at both. So, but oh, bro, we were walking. I think it was like the 2010 one. We were walking like the DC shoe store. That's where I wanted to go, and I, I never saw a woman. But I remember talking to my dad, and then looking up, and he was just like. <laughs> And I was just like, what What happened? What happened? And my dad, bro, doesn't even tell me. He just goes, Jesus, that woman was so beautiful. And then just keeps walking. And I've never, bro, till this day, I've never seen my dad do that again. And I, I bro, I, I pray to God. I don't know where this woman is. I want to know what is the perfect woman to my dad. Because, bro, she must have walked by. My dad was like, Dylan D- was bitch. upset. This motherfucker, someone else taking attention away from me, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Who is this bitch, dad? <laughs> Who is this bitch, dad? Another bitch, huh? That's, no, bro, because the, that, it's interesting because, the reason why that's so interesting is because people have, like, you know, people have skewed views on who they think you are and people have to, whatever yeah. you express on stage, but there's so much that you don't dive into, like, the, the, the tip of the iceberg bro, is, no just, one, is just No one knows about, out. like, young Dylan knowing about, like, his parents, like, his mom's financial situation being, that, bro, when they had, like, the NASA trip to go to NASA, it was, like, $300, $400. Yeah. Bro, not even like, that much money. Yeah. I didn't tell my parents. Like, I literally... Let me ask you a question. I didn't tell Let them. Let me ask bro, you a question. Hold my, on. The Hold school on. called my mom and said, hey, we just want to just triple, double check, you know, this is a big thing, you know, I, is there, do you need financial help to get Dylan there? <laughs> And my mom goes, for what? Yeah, yeah. And my mom came in my room, like almost like mad, like screaming. I'm like, why didn't you tell me? And I was just like, you just didn't I, wanna, I didn't want to burden you with I the. I didn't want to burden. I didn't want you to have to say I can't afford this. I and then I'd be embarrassed for you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it wasn't. It was just like my mom would have done anything to make it happen. But it was just like, of course. I, I, but I didn't go to my own high school graduation because I didn't want my parents to fight. Well, or, wait, or not show it's up. It's interesting because if someone, if anyone, my senior year in high school. They wanted uh, money for a senior class trip, and I'm like, yeah. this is coming out of my pocket. You got to pay for your gown, too. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. Bro, I, I didn't even try to ask my mom for the senior trip money. I was like, I'm just going to work. Because yeah. like, if I ask her, she's going to... And this bitch was getting paid for me to live there. Like, mm-hmm. I never asked her. As soon as I turned 15, I barely ate at the house. Yeah, yeah, you're out. You're yeah, out. I'm out. I pay man, for my yeah. own food. Like, provide me with the roof. Let me sleep in this bed. I figured everything parent, else yeah, out. Yeah, 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 when you grow up in a, in a single mom household, at 15, you, you, you do whatever you want. Yeah. You start doing whatever you want. At yeah. 15, my mom would like used to beat me with the belt, and it just stopped 15? No, no, no. At 15, it stopped hurting. And then she, she was stopped. still fucking you up at 15? Oh, yeah. I was still fucking up. DC, are you hard? What the <laughs> <laughs> But no, I was like, at 15, you just like, fuck it. I'm going to do whatever asshole? the fuck I want. I would have you know stiffed I mean? on my mom if she fucking... Oh, no. My mom punched me in the face one time. That shit. Your mom <laughs> but, uh, punched you in the yeah, face? Yeah, 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 yeah. One time. Whoa. She did. She did. She did. My mom, but, um, uh, my mom one time uh, bit my older brother's ear. It's like a big story in my in my household. She Tyson? Yeah, she did Tyson. So she Tyson before Tyson. You don't oh, you know about. my no yo. Is this before or after Scleroderma? 
before, way before. Is way before? Kid, yeah. was oh, like so your kid. mom was a gangster yeah. then. Yeah, I think she was just like, no, she was like, Corey was like at the end line and she was, he was, I think he was getting bigger. He was like 15. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, you think you can outsize me? Uh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> my, mom. My, bro, my mom did this shit. Because I, 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 she was saying something that I was like, I walked out, kissed my teeth, bro. Suck my teeth, just walked out. You said suck my teeth. Yeah, suck. Yeah, suck. It's Jamaican for. Yeah. You know what I mean. You yeah. do that shit when someone's talking. You go. You, you do that to an teeth. adult. Suck yeah, your suck teeth. your teeth. Yeah, suck it. I said it, mad Jamaican. Suck your teeth. Yeah. Suck yeah. your teeth. But what suck I'm saying, I <laughs> suck. That's how, that's how my the, mom that, got that, up. That's their Jamaican uh, poets, uh, so, uh, Socrates. No, no, no. We just don't say th. <laughs> we, we don't use th words. We just, we just. By just the say way, teeth. that's who discovered oxtail. <laughs> we we say We don't even say t. We say teeth. Teeth. You teeth them in your mouth, but uh, uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so my mom drink me up. A spell on me. <laughs> Why am I Punch floating? You, jab me right here, bro. And I remember it going like this. <laughs> and she's like, "Go sit down in the corner." One of the, and I one of the times like, my wow. dad put his hands on me was when I found about porn, and my brother was making fun of me because he just found the porn on the computer. My mom's like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" My sister and my brother are laughing. I run to my dad. And I'm just like, oh, uh, 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 and he just went. No and just slap me. And I remember Boner, I was, boners out. Just <laughs> <laughs> what you I'm not I'm, I'm still going with that. They didn't let me finish. Oh, and that it was that moment I knew I was committed. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever I wanted to do in life. But uh um, nah, dude, I got I have like abandonment issues like a motherfucker. Like I really do. And like I'm so like We'll I'll, get there, but you gotta talk about you gotta talk about how you grew up because love you for your aesthetic, fuck that shit. That shit is more interesting. That yeah. is way more. If you don't yeah, like my, my aesthetic joke anymore, my aesthetic. <laughs> oh, well, you could, you could, you could. I love you for you. You could, you could, no, you could upgrade it. Am I the only one that's designed? You, you could upgrade always, it. You can always keep it, but the, you have heavy shit in there to talk about. I know, about. I know. I mean, like, you listen, know what I mean? It's a weird thing to talk about because, like, every it's, time you go up there, they go, "This rich kid's lying to us." Nah, let me, let me. Can I say no one likes a rich kid who goes, "Guys, I swear." I'm give them poor. duality. And no, don't nah, say nah, poor. Don't say poor. It's because here's the thing: there's grown, there's poor people being called poor. Look, there's being born into money, and then there's a person getting rich. Then there's being alive while you're parents got a lot of money yeah. that's a different perspective yeah. like you remember when you guys weren't so fancy maybe well you know but that, that's another thing is like well you, funny you know what's crazy like, you won the I'm lottery first generation you like, won I'm the first generation yeah. Dylan, you won the lottery and then your dad was like nah see <laughs> you know what's funny too you know here's also funny you're the youngest right yeah so there's there's so many jokes like me and my brothers used to make fun of each other we'll tell your mama jokes to each other all the time and shit like that we had the same mom whatever right for you to be like, for you to talk about how Corey grew up when your dad didn't have money, ah, sucker. You know what I mean? Like shit like that. No, but you no, know it's funny. Like, Corey, Corey grew up when they didn't have money. That's so when my when my dad got money, he took care of Corey. Right, right. Took care of Dara. He was there since and then one. me, I'm just there for like with my mom. So yeah. I, said, I picked my mom. I picked no money. I picked love, yeah. like an idiot. So yeah. I was just like. I had to watch my dad post pictures on Facebook, like, down oh. with my day ones. And I wasn't in the picture. <laughs> I was like, motherfucker, I was literally born on this day. I've been with you uh, since day one. I've been literally born on this day. I've been with you with day one. Yeah. Um, nah, like, it's, yo, it's so, no, it's funny, bro. My dad, uh, I called him, like, late on his birthday. His birthday was November 11th. And I called him, like, it's acceptable at, like, 10, 1030. And he didn't answer. I texted him. And then he called me on Thanksgiving, bro. And I was, like, actually arguing with my brother. And I was so ready for him to, like... Call me and just rip me a new one, and I was like, "Fuck, I don't want to answer this. Fuck, I don't want to answer this." So I just picked it up and I just went, "Hello," and he went, "Hey, how's everything? Happy Thanksgiving." And bro, I hate when my dad like is like really happy and positive because I'm like, Yo, "What's, what's it, coming? Yeah, what? yeah, yeah, I know what you mean." I'm like, oh, bro, what's coming? Are you <laughs> hurt? Like, you. you hurt right yeah, now, yeah, yeah. right? Like, what the fuck? He's like, "No, I'm happy you're over there with your mom." I'm like, "Oh, no, he's not he's happy at all. This is not happy at all." Mm. Um, I don't know. It's just you're never happy for mom. <laughs> What's up? Like, what are you doing? I don't know. I, bro, it was just weird because like we had money and then we didn't. Oh, the same. The reason the way I, I would ever get um, money from my dad in high school and in college. Uh, sorry, in high school and in middle school, like late middle school, was pussy because I would call him and go, "Hey, I have a date this week and want a girl I really like. Can I get some money? Can you send me five hundred dollars?" <laughs> and be like anywhere between like seventy five to one fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. By like. The third or fourth or fifth time, I think it was junior year, I was like, yo, I need to take a girl on a date. My dad went, when the fuck are you going to get a job? <laughs> you know, you get money from jobs, right? <laughs> and, I, and I swear to you, that week is when I went and I worked for like a Greek restaurant. And I remember texting my dad like, yo, I got a job. And he just responded with, so you're supposed to be, yeah. yeah. It was so like. I remember like. Yeah, no shit. I remember, <laughs> I remember being like nine years old. I was like, yo, ma, I need money for new sneakers. And she was like, nigga, go get a job. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, because there's little kids in the barbershop sweeping up. Sweeping up. Yep. $20 a day. Yep. Bro. Go get a paper rule. And then I try to get I try to get a paper route. 
And then my mom was interested because she was like, you don't need money. Like, I su- supply everything No, ma, you, you never well, had money. I, <laughs> I, 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 I was going to the Renaissance Fair with my mom, like, every summer. That was one of the things that we did and we bonded over. Mm-hmm. And I remember one year, there was this one lady that, uh, um, there was one lady that was, like, really cool little shop, super nice, and she said, well, how old are you? I was like, 12. And she's like, if you come back next year when you're 13, um, I'll hire you. Oh, I thought she was going to I'd be mitzvahed by then. I'm going to uh, be bald. <laughs> so, me excited as fuck. I go, hell yeah. And I go to like start working for her or whatever. And bro, I'm pretty sure she fired me day one. Because I think it was so young where like, I couldn't focus on like work. I would do one task and be like, all right, we'll break for an hour, right? She was like, that was 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. You're 12. You're like, here for uh, six hours. Yeah. And I kept being like, where's my mom? Yeah. I'm going to see my mom real quick and go say hi to her. Yeah. Mom, she was like, all right, sure. He's like, get back to work. You're like, I'm not Mexican. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey, I'm I don't have, a I don't have an iPad. legal <coughs> citizen. Right. I, Excuse me. <laughs> Born here. Uh, got a birth certificate. <laughs> Local. <laughs> a white kid. You can't treat me like you treat your fucking Jewish. I should be all in this place. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all high. Yeah. Um, but, but no, literally like day, at the end of day one, she was like, I, I, you're good. You don't have to come back. I think she gave me like 40 bucks. She was like, mm-hmm. yeah. Cheers. Yeah. You don't, you don't like, need to be. Oh, you worked hard. You did great. <laughs> you did great, little man. She realized this is a mistake. I hired a twelve-year-old. Yeah, one hundred percent makes her a bad business owner. <laughs> bad business owner. Just saying. Well, Just it's, saying. Cheap, it's called cheap labor. Not true, 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 hey, true. But I don't know. I, I but I want to talk about the rich poor shit on stage. I just don't know what the fuck. This Bro, you, you just know. said it. You first first thing it. you got to do is write out your experience. Yeah. yeah. Type it out and then figure out what's funny. Ab- and then take then just take it out of that shit, bro. Because yeah, you got to write it out and figure out the funny later. Not figure hey, out the funny, but like cause, bro, the honesty. Because, there, bro, there's so much to me about being fun. Like, we, me and my second older brother got the same dad. My oldest brother has a different dad, right? Yeah. So, like, my older, my, I never met my father. My oldest brother, his father used to take him to the beach when he was a kid. You know what I mean? <laughs> And so, you know what's funny? Already, that's funny because you already compared. Like, yeah, where my dad? At? Oh, and bro, you know what I mean. I never so, got to say what my what my, my sister almost made me cry. Sorry, like when I was younger, my my brother and sister would always be like, we used to go to like the beach. We used to go watch like the airplanes take off mm-hmm. with dad. Like life was good until you got here. <laughs> and bro, I I held that baggage my entire life. And bro, my mom's been going to therapy and shit, right? My yeah. mom, I'm not. We don't got to get into specifics with uh, mama, but my sister called me and she goes, Dylan. I realized something the other day. You was blaming yourself for um, our, you know, mom and dad getting divorced. He goes, you know, it's mom's fault, right? Not yours. Mom didn't do her job to keep her husband. And I was like, Hey, yo, shout out to your, your sister yeah, for, being, <laughs> for being, for you know, being red pilled out here. <laughs> <laughs> but bro, it was just like a funny. Listen, thing. there's a lot of Andrew Tate <laughs> out here. Son. Listen to a Tissu out here. What? No, that's not. Nah, yeah, bro. Yo, she was listening to Andrew Tate. My mom never sucked a dick like that. <laughs> my mom wasn't fit, feminine, and she wasn't. Nah, enough. nah. Bro, my mom like at one point. She never got my uh, my dad two coffees just in case. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end. You take the he goes. I want my gal to get me two coffees. All right, I'll drink one and then I might drink the other. That's so stupid. Yeah. That's so stupid. So when you you I come, say, I mean, two I girl give me two drinks every time, but that's pretty stupid. Two different drinks though. Two I would, different. Drinks. I would be confused, a little annoyed by two drinks, two coffees, two coffees. If right. your girl said, "Yo, too baby, much, I brought you, caffeine. I brought you, I brought <laughs> yeah. you a black, and then I brought you a cappuccino," I'm just like, in what's case. What's she trying to say? She was you indecisive. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that about you, so I got you too because I yeah, love yeah. you. You need this to I work. I want one drink to throw in her face and one drink oh, to wait, drink. Wait, wait, finish, finish. What you say? What she said? Um, but no, she was just like, you know, that's not your fault, right? And uh, I was just like, wait, I'll- can I ask you a question? You said that your sister said that um, everything was good before you got here. How how long ago was that? When I was growing up, that? like growing up, she would say that all the time. Yeah, but she was like trying to Probably find, like, probably like repeating something that like Corey said or like my yeah. older brother, and um, like just like you know, yeah. riffing off of that. Yeah. Um, but no, it was just like a weird thing where I was just like, I was talking to Josh Adam Myers about this actually in, um, in uh, okay. Philly. Bro, we be holding so much baggage from our childhoods. Yeah. And yeah. you have to go through the time of like, dude, that's why I, I realize that's why I don't like going to my family. Bill Burr says something it, very it, it interesting. It freaks things where I go, yeah. I've been mad at you since I was seven. You Bill, look in the house, every room you go into gives you a memory from what happened. I don't have house. the same room ever. I know yeah. I've been through so many houses. So there's abandonment mm-hmm. issues. Bill Burr said something very interesting. I mean, he was I saying kinda, that like you were. He it. said the reason why you forget <laughs> what you said. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. The reason he goes. He goes. 
he forgave his mom and his dad mm-hmm. the moment he realized that his memories came from a childhood perspective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And that shit struck me differently because, like, you ever, like, I don't know about y'all, but I, like, around my mid-20s, I caught, well, you're in your mid-20s now, and you're th- almost out of your mid tw- mm-hmm. out of your 20s. Mm-hmm. I'm 31 now. <laughs> He's just mid. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, called my, I called my mom in my mid-20s. I was like, yo, thank you. You did a good job. You know what's funny? You, I did, did your wow. thing. I called my mom and thanked yeah. her when I was like 23. Yeah. I called her last week and was like, bitch, what have you been doing? Well, you might have <laughs> trauma me. So I was like, early 20s, I was like, yo, I, I, went, I was there. Yeah. I was like, yo, they were just kids having kids. Yeah. And now as I get older and get becoming more of an adult, I'm like, no, nah, they were fucking adults. Without Google. Yeah, oh my God. You understand? Like, bro. That, like they were bro. adults without Google. What? They were adults without YouTube. Bro. Right, like you wouldn't be where you at right now without Google and YouTube. Facts, facts. Because I used one hundred percent the times I did sit there, it, like I, I thought, you know what I mean? Like he would do a lot. He'll YouTube's how to do some shit real quick and editing and do it. And I'd be like, even that's impressive. But yeah. at the same time, bro, I had a job once. I had to change a keg, and if I didn't YouTube how to do it, I would not have done it. And yeah, been, yeah <laughs> some shit like right that. There. So you don't know how to change a keg. You said you knew how to. You were a bar back before, right? But, you know, it's funny. Back in the day, you just kept calling friends until you thought of someone who might have been able to do that. Yeah. Yeah, just kept calling people. Yeah, isn't that and crazy? Then, and then here's the thing, though: your mom and dad probably did call people, but those people also grew up without Google or YouTube. Right, I get they're it. also just stupid, quest. right? <laughs> just fucking mad. And that quest, shit bro. never even worked. I don't Fuck. know. Right, the satellites weren't up to date. Bro, so you know, you know, do you know what movie? You know, it's funny we mentioned it on the um, Young Guns. Do you know what movie invented GPS? There was a movie that had GPS. Yes. Um, oh, Star Trek. Nope. Oh, okay. Wrong go. Oh, no, fuck. Look. I just. I uh, just... It's definitely a sci fi 80s film. We said it in Young Guns. Beverly Hills Cop. We didn't talk about Beverly Oh, no, Beverly we talked about um, Coming to America. America. We just talked about Eddie Murphy. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, Be- Beverly, Beverly Hills Cop, Beverly in the first movie, look it up. They have a thing called like a satellite location system for the cars. That's, that's the first use of like GPS. And that idea was like, why don't we actually do that? You know what, though? I believe the military gets a lot of that type of technology first and mm-hmm. then they it gets the mock. 100%. Of course. Of course. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like, uh, when I was in the army. Yeah, they... tell us, Kev. What? Why are you I... bullying him? No, I'm not. I just it's want the him... way he said <laughs> that. Yeah, why are you bullying him right now? <laughs> I just want like... anything like bullying him. I was like, I'm not going gonna... to. I just in... want him to be on some Alex Jones shit. Like, let's... tell me the secrets of the military. <laughs> let's, get into, let's get into some plugs and then we can go back to. Uh, are UFOs military aircrafts? That's already proven. I don't got to. <laughs> it's already proven that what? That it is. Oh, okay. All right. We're working on them. You know what UFO <laughs> We're for? working on you. What? Unidentified flying object. Yeah. It's, it's, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be UFO. You fuck. Well, I know what he's saying. Um, yeah. I, I just have to be UFOs UFO. that beat you up. The, the term for the term, yeah. the definition. Um, guys, welcome to Doped Up and Dying Again. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I'm your host, Dylan J. Negri. Follow me at Dylan J. Negri. And make sure to follow the podcast at Doped Up Comedy on all platforms. Go to YouTube. Go to YouTube.com slash at Doped Up Comedy. We're right there. Guys, if you're listening this far, please rate five stars review. If you rate and review right now on your audio platform of choice, that helps us so fucking much. And again, you probably heard at the top of the episode. I want to say it again right now. Thank you so much for Zia Farms for sponsoring this episode and all future episodes coming up this month. Guys, go support Zia Farms. Go to Z-E-F-H-E-M-P.com and use code doped hyphen up for like, I think it's like a 50% off code. It's fucking ridiculous. So you guys, go support them. And again, keep supporting Doped Up. We're doing some fun things coming up. We have the comedy club here in New York City. So if you're in New York, Philly, uh, Jersey area, come see us. And also check out, uh, I'm, I'm going to be updating my website, DylanComedy.com with uh, all of it. <laughs> With all Kobe dates because now he has dates. So, uh, Kevin Sanchez, uh, follow Wild Kevin Sanchez on Instagram, Wild Kev Sanchez on Twitter, Wild Kevin Sanchez on YouTube. Um, yeah, man, <laughs> just a wild boy. Wild boy, <laughs> wild boy. Um, DC Williams, DC Williams comedy on Instagram. That is all you need to worry about. Dope Up Comedy Club Thursdays. And, and Sundays. Sundays, you could catch me out there performing. Um, yeah, man, and stay tuned, stay patient. We got some big things coming up. Um, end of the year, new year. So, um, yeah, love you guys. Like, subscribe, and share. This is okay? dope up and down. And comment the, even if you hate it. Sunday, Sunday morning, morning smoke show, well, bro. How do you think I get all these views on my on, I know. on my Instagram? Clips? I know. Hate. 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 I said, and I go to myself. I say, one day I'm gonna look in the comments, and there's gonna be ten comments that go, "That was a great bit." By you? No, by this guy. Oh, I get him. This guy. Guy. Oh. <laughs> oh. You guys don't look up at that often, do you? No, I, I've been looking at this the whole time. Oh, so I you can't just... stop looking at it. If people watch the podcast, I'm like, what so, is but, DC but, looking at? So you at? can see that like, you guys are off. Yeah, and then, then when I catch it, I go, oh, shit. You I know? don't.
What? You guys aren't much on the production. That's why we have you here. So you yeah. can fucking direct us. <laughs> you know it's like draining though. <laughs> I mean, this is a new space for me. So I'm not used to new spaces. Yes. <sighs> You know it's draining. That's where it is. That's not a very good adopted mentality. You should be really good at new spaces. Because you are adopted. I'm adoptable. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> Yo, what did Sean at the club I'm say adop- about you? Adaptable. What huh? did Sean say to, to you at the club? He was like, "So wait, you had to go to your, you, know, you were like a, a, a puppy trying to be cute for your parents." Like, uh, well, Sean at uh, the comedy club, a new manager. Mullen. Mullins. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What I hate him. He's not. He probably doesn't know the conversation you're referring Kevin. to. I don't know. I don't know the conversation you're referring to. My life is crazy, and I have tons of conversations. So <laughs> my life is dope. I do dope things. My life, yeah. <laughs> Kanye, <laughs> Kanye, <laughs> I will say a, that we, should be one of the We should do an episode of the, uh, Kanye quote. We need that drop. My life is dope. I do dope things. That's a fire drop. That's a drizzy drop. Right? Yeah, drizzy drop. I'm here. I'm here. Um, no, no. Listen, I'm so mad. I don't have a soundboard. Dylan Negri. Sounds. You know who's no who's not mad that I don't have the sound for everyone else in the room. <laughs> I don't mind the guitar riff. I don't like my drop yet. If we're getting you a new one and soon. And, uh, your drop is hilarious to me. <laughs> PC doesn't, and this is the saga. Like, I get coming like digging vagina. Hey, <laughs> that that's hilarious. what I said. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. I said that. Shit. Well, yo, what, what, we uh, got a pod to do. No, what, no, no, what, no, what are we talking no, about? No, we're talking about pods. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just saying that I, I want to give the audience something to sink their teeth into. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I want to give the audience something to sink their teeth, sink their teeth in. into. What's up, man? I'm in, bro. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, in? I'm What's in. What's up, man? I'm in, bro. That sounds like every rapist. Yeah. That was once I'm in, I can't quit, dog. <laughs> that was William Paco's defense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's called a mob Whoa. mentality. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, what you're talking about? <laughs> I don't. Uh, <laughs> you can YouTube his name. I don't. I don't. I don't make the news. Um, <laughs> you just report it. <laughs> <laughs> like a good Jew Jesus does. Jesus Christ, bro. Like a good Jew does. <laughs> so coming back to the podcast, yes, uh, sir, because that clip is gone. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm retarded. Um, no, uh, I might be an Eagles fan. Going forward now. The Dolphins have let me down way too much. And, dude, if you... I'm making a video, bro. The like, Dolphins are... Bro, the Dolphins are doing good this year. That's fine. They only lost, like, two or three games. But, bro, the atmosphere of a Phillies game... I tailgated with these people. Bro. You can't You can't compare the both. You can't compare the two. But that's exactly. You, know, you can't compare the two. You so, I'm picking one. It's more, it's more fun to live in Miami than it is yeah. to live in Philadelphia. You're right. Yeah. The, but it's, but yeah. if you're going to have to pick a game to go to, which game oh, are you going Philly. to? Philly. It's all Philly. day, bro. Go Birds. Unless... <laughs> Unless I find out that Miami got the baddies coming through, Miami has the baddies. Where we talk, you think Philly has the baddies? Oh no! no, no. Oh, 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 my bad. No, okay, okay. I was about to say no. <laughs> no one thinks Philly got the baddies. Nah, <laughs> you know, I don't so think funny that at all. That? Hot Buddy, dude, I'm walking around and I would see a chick. I'd be like, honestly, oh, kind of. All right, finally, like, a, like bro, every one in a thousand is like a hot chick. In but uh, right, and, a, a and, Philly and, ten in New so, York six. Bro, I, I walk around the entire parking lot. I see one chick finally, a little cute, and I go, all right, you little toy. Oh, she's a little cute, and then dude, I, I heard her like talk to her like you know her, her whatever friend. She was like, "Get me a hoagie," and I was like, "Ugh." And I, it's like, bro, they like I picture like a Bitch Philly, trying to eat a Philly girl <laughs> having sex is like, oh, 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 no. Why is she no. so British? Why no? Yeah, why, is, why is she so British? <laughs> <laughs> you so put your what? Tims on and clap this. <laughs> that's, that what is, that was, what? that's what I picture. That's what I from a Philly chick, bro. No, no, what? You know, that was the Keep most... your beard on. You'll grow your beard out before yeah, you eat me out. That's what a Philly accent is. <laughs> that... A Philly accent is like, you want to go down with that's the, the white, That's sport. the white Philly girls, though. That, yeah, talking I'm, talking about, I'm talking about like... Philly, I don't think we, he knows, though. Eh, you know what I'm saying? Nah, eh, you, nah I've messed up. Yo, honestly, eight bro. Anytime he busts my pussy. Got, yo, bro, <laughs> they, they mad aggressive, bro. bro. Philly Philly hood chicks, they scare me, bro. They like they all sound like Beanie Siegel now. The chicks in Philly <laughs> look like the men in <laughs> oh, Philly. Like Beanie, Beanie Siegel? Yo, bro, you, Beanie Siegel's the rap kind of a gangster. Yes, he's a gangster. Uh, and But he Bugsy lost his Siegel. voice. Yeah, he yeah, lost yeah, his yeah. voice in jail. Uh, right, so when he came back, bro, he's, not, he's like Fifty Cent. Nah, you nah, nah, like, nah. Man, <laughs> not like that. Many man, the Lord of the Palmy. Sounded like an awesome me. rapper. He's like an awesome rapper. You didn't know when or where he was gonna rhyme. But I, I want to fifty. No, uh, freeway. Do you think? Oh, uh, Beanie Siegel. Oh yeah, Beanie Siegel's fire. What if rapper gets shot in the mouth? But no, he lost his voice though. Dude. Because freeway. like a high pitched no, voice. Like, Who? what if another rapper gets like shot in the mouth, but like they get like a bad voice? Like many men, he did the pun. Young Thug has a high pitched voice. Young Thug, I guess. Yeah, his voice is high. 
I don't see it. Pulling these pictures and put it. He don't sound like that. That's how he sounds. I think I hate what a nigga would be. That's the closest to Bill Burr you've gotten yet. That's your dog. I got AIDS, but I swear nigga will bleed it. I don't, I don't know no. what he said, but he has a high pitched voice. You don't think so? I don't listen to a lot of young thought, but from what really? I have listened, oh, you're, you're, right. Caps is a money. you're right in lifestyle. Thank you. That's him? Yeah. <laughs> 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 he sounds different now, right? He stopped mumbling a little bit. Yeah, yeah. He's Which is why he's arrested. 500 now. Visa card. <laughs> yeah, 500 Visa, visa card. I guess he's right. boy. Crown boy. No, it's. Cool boy. Cool boy. <laughs> <laughs> His voice is dumb high. You don't think so? Lil Uzi, Uzi Vert got a high voice. I said, anyway, why you wait, keep calling? Wait, look, I, you know what's crazy? <laughs> Figs is so good. My, so let's go back to We All Young Guns. Figs is really, I, th- I think Figs is pretty good at impressions. But DC, you gotta do more impressions. Bro. I do, I do. This, bro, honestly, bro, you're I watched good. a bunch of shit and I was like, damn. What's the, what's the newest impression you're working on, Dylan? This, tell me, tell me. No, no, no. See, because that, that's, that's that's. Do you think you can do us? A per, an impression of Kev, yes, because Kev has a particular voice. Impression of you is all actions, though. Yeah, it's and all no, movements. It's, it's movements. It's things no, like that. I think D- Dan Soder just has the best me impression. It's just him doing like, ah, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I'm gonna be fucking sick, dude. It's fucking fire. That's funny. I want you to clip <laughs> this. I want you to go. Dan Sutter has an impression of me. <laughs> I really want you to do that. Just so he can be annoyed by it, bro. Like, yeah, you're doing impressions of Dylan. That's what I, I saw what you were working on. <laughs> you see this new set? He got this hey, impression man. of Dylan, bro. Yo, yo Dan <laughs> Soto's best impressions. Number one, yeah. Dave, Dave Chappelle. Chappelle. Yeah. Number two, three, four, five, Dylan, 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 Dylan. The impression was so good, he quit billions. He was just like, I'm just going to fucking do this shit. He's ripping. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll work. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to get the people what they want, you know? Um... What uh, do do an impression of uh, me right now? Do an impression of me and Kev? Pick one, whichever you want to start with. I, I'm gonna do Kev. I'm gonna do Kev real quick. Um, I'm be real with you. I've never <laughs> seen. <laughs> that was what I was gonna start with, bro. <laughs> I, I've never, I haven't seen anyone do a good impression of me. All right, let's see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yo, ask me a question. Ask, like, um, I can ask Kev. Yo, how's question. your how's your white girl? Yo, honestly, can I tell you something? <laughs> 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 absolutely, absolutely. Like, yo, say, buddy. Buddy, <laughs> <laughs> like this is this is Will Smith is. I like Kevin. her, but it's I don't I don't know, bro. I don't know, buddy. Like she's like okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna say this. Like so, the other day, right? I know, not new me. She was okay. No, no, no. You gotta let him. You gotta let him build. You gotta let him build. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, by the way, he's like such an he actor. He rescued me. We're such, a, we're such an actor. He's DC, such an actor. We're giving him directions, and he just keeps going. Oh. <laughs> How do <laughs> I make buddy? them happy? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, say, buddy. So buddy. Now do buddy. me. So Dylan. No, 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 do me again. Buddy. So Kevin. <laughs> he's just doing each voice. No, see, now, 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 now do me. Now see you do Dylan. Okay, okay. Um. All right. All right. All right. Ready? I know. I'm joking. All right. I, bro, the joke is I don't. I don't. I, 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 did, I got you. I, got I don't you. do cocaine. I got you. It does mean no, no. I'm I got you. Days. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. What you doing right now? This is me. What's up, what? You good? Oh, all right. Uh, all right. My bad. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I got, yeah. No, no. Come on. Send it to me. And, and then after that, I'm going to, and, and then I'm going I'm to call you back. And then after that, and when I call you back, I'm going I'm to finish it. And then, and then, and then I'm going to send it. Yeah? Right, I do right, start, cool. I do right, start cool. a lot of sentences and never finish them. I see you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all it started so and ended Derek Gaines. Oh, In dude. the middle was D- Dylan Negri. By the way. That's, no, no, no. This is Dylan way, before. By the way, even, Beginning with Derek Gaines and ending with Derek Gaines, and the middle being Dylan Negri, it's how Dylan Negri speaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the imitators there were like the. I'm trying to do it because I, my imitations for him is like us working on something yeah. and him trying being to like get it to where he can edit it. You know what I mean? But well, I'm saying things that he can't edit, and it's annoying. Well, why, why, why don't you add? I'll be, I'll be DC and you be me. <laughs> all right, all right. So, buddy, why don't you? Oh, that's Kevin. Uh, so, uh, why don't you like add like a dragon? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so I'm just trying to. I'm thinking, am I, we can't do that, DC. <laughs> we can't do that. Like how? how I literally we, remember this moment when this happened. How I was we, so mad at him. I saw buddy. I, I think I said DC. I go DC. Then you do it. 
<laughs> uh, yo, DC, you want to drive in there? Or we're talking about making a, a, a one sketch five minutes in this episode, <laughs> but, but it's too long. It's too it's too long. It has to be four minutes. It needs to be this right here. It needs to be that right here. It needs to be a story. What's like what? What's the story? What's the goal? Dylan doesn't budge a lot on his version. <laughs> <laughs> Is that idea? What's the story? Like what? Like what's the goal? Like, like. What, what up? No offense, but no offense. <laughs> Yo, Dylan will hit you yeah. with a no offense, bro. <laughs> and something coming around the corner of that shit is so offensive, bro. <laughs> like, he gets, no offense. Him, and that yo, shit is yo no bro. offense, but your vision stinks. <laughs> you don't got good visions. It, it's like, it's like, buddy, like, it's, it's like no offense, but you're like, you're telling me you do these bringer shows, but like, you suck at comedy and you're making me do it. And I, just, <laughs> I don't get how that's gonna like help me, buddy. Like, you gotta. Like, Wait, are you talking? Is this DC? Bro. Is this Dylan as DC? Watch, watch, this is Dylan right here, bro. Like, help me, help you, bro. Like, <laughs> come on. I mean, fuck. Fuck, dude. Fuck. Like, fuck is me. That's me getting these shirts going, dude, like, fuck. I'm like, bro, you're talking about a $20 fucking video? I can shoot my own videos myself for free with no camera. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to do a particular voice, but it's like your happy move. It's really your movements and the things it might, no, you my, would do it's in how, situations. It's how I start sentences. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I, dude, Dylan can start every sentence in the world. He never finishes one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, like, he'll, he'll do some shit like <laughs> <laughs> he'll do some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, I, can see, I can turn that. See, uh, I learned that from Derek, though, how to turn that on and on. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a talk show host laugh. Like, <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> like, <type> yeah, that's <laughs> Oh, your movie comes out? Oh, let's check out a clip. <laughs> and it cuts back to Jimmy. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, Jim Fallon be going wild. Bro. Yeah, he do. Shout out to Jimmy, man. But, yeah, man, I want to work on some doing some more impressions, just being a better comic. I really do. Because I, I, I realize, I feel like I forgot somewhere along the road what I wanted to do sometimes. Comedy. And I, DC. No, no, I did, but I tapped, no, but type of comedy. Like, good. you know what I mean? Like, there's particular things that I like. I, I remember just re-watching some hilarious shit from Key and Peele, and I'm just like, that's the vibe. We caught that vibe a couple times when we were making sketches I think we could do, together. I think we could you do know sketches what I mean? again, the three of us. For sure. You know what I mean? And, and I was like, short this is the shit I like. Like, this shit is silly. What certain comics? I'm just like, you know, like, I'm not really like, I like Joe, but I'm not like the Tom Segura guy like you are. You know what I mean? I like Tom Segura. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but it's just different. Sometimes you forget things and you're always doing comedy around comics and you're just like, no, I like what I'm trying to do is in, in a way how these people kind of did it in a sense. And it made me like question myself. And it's like, what are you doing, bro? You should be writing out like way more sketches. Today. You should be because I think of them and I'm just like, man, like this is this is the funny type of like slapstick shit that I like as far as sketch comedy. You guys look like you don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to stop. No, but, no, sorry, sorry. I'm listening. But. Yeah, I, this is what I was saying the other day. We're like, yo, you got to watch things that inspire you the way that you want to go in life. And when I do that, I'm like, oh, damn, I don't do this enough. This is why I get weary about what I'm doing. I, yeah, but I've been having mm-hmm. the last, like, two months been shitty. It's, and I think it's also just because, like, you got to set goals. You got to, like, yeah. have, like, an actual genuine, really do, like, a general idea of, like, what are you going to do and, like, what you want to do and how you're going to get there in short yeah. term to long term. Yeah. But last two, like... I literally, the same day, the night that I got, that Jay was like, yo, come do these dates. I was like, oh, fire. Uh, I, I agree. Um, <laughs> I was like, yo, fire. Yeah. And then that morning, though, I called Ke- I was texting Kevin, but I was so upset. I was, mm. bro, I was having a fucking like, meltdown. I was like, my career, what the fuck I'm doing? I'm not posting videos. I'm not editing enough. And then that night, it was just chilling. And then, like, Helium <laughs> Comedy Club being like, yo, come back anytime. And then yeah, Jay yeah. being like, yo, come do these dates. Stay in California. And I was like, bro. Everyone has their fucking path. That's the one thing, bro. Is like you got to be like a horse blinder with this shit. You can't look at anyone in comedy. You can't look at you everybody. You can't compare yourself to anyone in that, comedy. That and you can't always like assume... comedically even like you be inspired, but you can't compare. You also can't assume that that person is. You might assume that person is happier than you think they are in that position. For sure. Or whatever they're doing, or you, you talk to them, you find out oh they're just as wary and a little bit confused about what they're doing too, but they keep going and X Y Z. But you just like everyone kind of feels like that, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. And also keep watching the shit that inspires you. Whatever you're doing, keep I'm not trying to do. Keep watching Doped Up, or you know we're Keep watching Doped Up too. But whatever it is that makes you go, oh, I want to keep doing this. Keep do watching. That shit. I did that do shit. The weird and I was like, yeah. damn, bro. Like this is why. Like somewhere along the lines, some the fun got semi sucked out. Yeah, yeah. Of me the doing fun, a couple. The, yeah, the fun gets sucked out quick. Yeah, a little bit. Not and quick. I'm, it takes years, but it, no, it that, takes but a that's what bit. I'll be with. That's also what some people told me. They're like, "Yo, you start getting really funny. You start making money when it's when it's not fun anymore." Yeah, yeah, damn man. It's just like that sucks. Say it again. They'll be like, "You'll you'll be making. You'll notice. You'll be making money, and you'll be booked more than ever. But it won't be fun anymore." 
And that's, oh, you'll get funny because it, it won't be fun anymore. It'll be work. And you know, you're, like, you're not like really, you're going up there to have a good time, but you're also going up there to do like a job. Right. I actually, think, I, I actually yeah. think that helps comedy sometimes. It does. I remember, I remember when we were talking about like in Connecticut and you were like, yo, good set. I was like, I like, I'm having fun, but I'm also like, yo, these people paid to be here. Mm-hmm. I need to do a job. Like, they need, yes, they, they, absolutely. Like, even if I'm doing like mediocre, yeah. I need to go through mediocrely. It's the not, best mediocre. It's not like, do my material and walk the room. It's yeah. entertain these people if yeah. your material get, is not get, working. Figure out what they want yeah. to get told and heard. And yeah, I it's... hate motherfuckers that revel and walk in the room. I hate that shit, bro. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> revel as in like they scooter to the, 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 <laughs> to the, the bed? No, bro. Is that, you know what I mean. Uh, they revel in it. Like, yes, yeah, I can't that. wait to walk the room. It's like, bro, no. Like what comic thought that like well, that's that edge of comedy. comedy that I was talking shit about that I was sorry, but like the comic that I was like a couple weeks ago, like yo, they need a quick comedy. They walked the entire room, posted on their story. Would I make a good lawyer? And I DM'd her. I go, I mean, better than anything else you're doing. No, you did it. No, you did it. Show me that shit, pussy. <laughs> if he did that shit, <laughs> <laughs> I believe he did it. No, because I, I almost DM that. I almost DM'd her. Nah, you should. Oh, you saw it too. That's fucked up, see, bro. See, see, see. That, see. Dylan, that is... Uh, come on. <laughs> that is crazy, Dickhead. bro. How would you do that? No, that was... You know what's hilarious about <laughs> that? Yeah. Uh, he nailed it. Yeah. He nailed, whatever yeah, he needed yeah. to do to keep yeah. that, he, yeah, nailed he nailed it. That. That's hilarious. But, um, but yeah, bro. <laughs> it's like that sometimes, <laughs> man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to my acting skills, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, you killed and, that. And, and D shout out to DC's. <laughs> he was reading to goes, Lions say you see. Oh, I did. You know what I did? Yeah, you know, you, that's what I did. That's what I, did. Uh, I was method, he, right? No, wait, he said, you didn't hear him. He, he, he was whispering. Like, did he whisper? Lions say you see. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they know now because you said it. Yeah. I showed them on the camera. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> he goes, oh, yeah, and true. This bit is over. <laughs> um, no, but listen, we're going to get out of here in a little bit. Guys, thank you so much for listening. Uh, this is, again, Dope Up and Dying, the, the Sunday, Sunday morning smoke show. show. And, guys, uh, let's go around the table again. Thank you so much for listening. And let's, oh, uh, she's been quiet. This entire episode, I, she, she told me before the episode she might be pregnant. She's having stomach pains, so she might be a little bit quiet. Um, Natalie, shout out to, uh, for the podcast. Say, say what's up to the people. Yeah, sorry, I just had truly nothing to say this entire episode. It was, it was so crazy. riveting. It was so Speechless. riveting. I had nothing to say. Oh, Thank wow. you so much, Natalie, for being here. That's Natty. I, 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 you're gonna add in all the jobs that I do after. Like you're gonna edit in yeah. the jobs, right? Yeah. <laughs> she just goes, yeah, yeah sure. Oh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. No wink. Um, guys, well, thank you so much for joining us. This is Dope to Been Dying again. The Sunday morning smoke show. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.